This is Dave from Mel Bakery, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about Shopify notification emails and why you may need to have a custom email designed and coded specifically for your brand. Shopify stores are very popular nowadays. Uh, there's a big chance that uh, you're a Shopify store owner or a marketing agent specialist who are looking to bring the best of uh, the user experience. And um, I'm going to show you what the default Shopify notification emails look like without any customizations. Uh, and one app that I have found um, on Google, what can you do with it, and why you may need uh, an email designed from scratch for you. So, if you look at my screen, uh, the Shopify notification emails are located in settings, notifications, and there are more than 20 emails in here. We're going to look specifically uh, now in this video, the order of confirmation email. I'm not going to dive into the others. They're pretty much uh, the same, just some dynamic data at the, at the back end is different. Uh, what you can customize in those emails uh, is changing the logo and the asset color, and there's nothing much. So the emails are plain and simple and they're made to convert. But in some cases, you may need um, your emails to, to look much, much closer to your brand. And the, there is no visual editor that you could actually use in Shopify for this purpose. And I have found a one, one solution um, on the internet that uh, can easily help you fine tune those emails without much of a hassle. So, yeah, the first solution that I have for you is a Shopify app. It's called Orderly Emails and uh, it's free to install. However, um, there's, a, there's a fee for having one of, one of their teams uh, installed. So let's go and check out this option at the moment. So go into apps from the left sidebar and then go to Shopify App Store. It opens up in a new browser tab and the search apps field, uh, we will, I'll just type in the, the app name, order, order emails, it's one more, and select the app. This is, uh, this is one of the top apps that I have found on, on Google and I decided to give it a go. I really liked it and I think that it would be really useful to you as well. I'm not affiliated in any way uh, with, with that app and yeah, I just want it to be useful and uh, I'll ju just give you a quick overview of what, what can you do with it. So, um, adding the app to the store now. Install app. Choose a starting team. Okay, let's do that. Now there's a page of a couple of uh, couple of uh, templates that you, you can choose from, and I personally selected the one that's um, closest in terms of looking feel to, uh, to to my brand, Mel Bakery. And um, I have found that the entire graphic one suits my needs, so I'll just. Uh, I'll take start with Empire. Select the language that I want. And what we're currently seeing that we are on the orderly emails uh, .com website and we are using their editor to um, adjust the, the emails that we want. From here we can select any of them. Shopify emails and fine tune them as, as we want. So let's get back to the order confirmation. Um, the first thing that uh, I saw when I discovered this app was the Magic Designer, which I start now. And what it actually does, it, it pulls information from your store. So it's supposed to take my logo, font, colors, and stuff like that. So let's try to use it and see what's going to, to 
exchange. Okay, the, I think that the colors of these are pretty much the same. Uh, the font, uh, the font has changed, uh, but other than that, I think probably the, the product data is uh, also from uh, from our store. Let's keep those changes. And something that I that I noticed is that it's not inserting a logo automatically. So I'm going to place place that logo so I can have um, better looking better looking email. I'm going to quickly do this option. I'm going to drag my logo into here. Okay. Here it is. I can adjust the, the size of the logo from the left side bar. This is where all the options uh, in this editor would be. Pretty, pretty handy, useful. And uh, something that I noticed that I'm limited by the, by the design of this team. For example, I cannot center align this logo. Also, that uh, for my brand guidelines, uh, I can use my logo as in center position and also all the all the other content. So yeah, I'm currently stuck with having the logo left to right, which is which is not so bad. So I'm just going to uh, size it down a little bit, like that, and see what the other options are. So I can change the fonts, the main title font. So we can change the main title. We can change the headings and buttons. We um, can change the body text for advanced controls. We can change the font size, width, uh, weight, and text transform. Something that um, I didn't see is again, what if I want to have the text central line? This is this is not possible, unfortunately. So let's see. Keep it here. Now, I just change background color. All right, um, let's let's see what else do we have. Um, team settings, colors and styles. You can change the header, the body, the buttons, buttons shape. You can have it in rounded colors, transparent one with just border and stuff like that. I can change the pick of colors. Um, site links and stuff like that story for some data populating here change team language okay see the start now change team style okay here's an option where probably I could there's a slight change in the in the style of the email, but uh, this is not something that I'm looking looking into. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much what you can do. You can drag new sections into here. I'm not sure why it's not happening at the moment. But yeah, um, yeah, that's um, this app is a is a good option if if you have um, if you want to keep that. Um, uh, plain and simple look and feel of your emails. After all, these um, transactional emails are, are made to be um, to, to be convertible and in order to do that they need to be plain and simple, contain only the, the valuable information and nothing more. However, there are situations where um, you may want to, to have a more advanced Design. Let's let's put it that way, and I um, I have picked up a couple of examples to show you what, what does that mean and what uh, what you can do. So the first example that I uh, that I, I have for you is one of our templates. So here we can see Mailbag Plus that uh, template of ours, and it features really um, a nice looking. Um, design elements like the shadow over here and the over overlapping section and we have the very same thing at, uh, at the bottom and as, uh, as you can see also the header, the, uh, the pre-header and footer 
are extended um, in full width. So this is something that you can't do um, in the app. And this is one of the cases where you would need to have a custom template created from scratch for you. Um, in today's example, in today's video, um, I wanted to uh, to give you an example of this template, how you can convert it uh, into a Shopify template and see how it would look like. So I have asked one of our developers to, to do that for me. And this is the final result that we, that we have. Yeah, it looks broken, but don't worry. This is uh, liquid code from Shopify to pull all the required uh, data. So yeah, nothing, nothing scared to be about. And we are going to put that uh, into Shopify right now. Copy paste the HTML code. And going back to um, orderly and going back to Shopify, settings, applications, order confirmation, and I'm going to paste the code here. Removing all the unnecessary white space at the top and the bottom, just to make sure that this won't create any, any problem, it's saving any, any problem with it. Okay, save. Preview. And here is how the email looks like in the preview pane. Now, as you can see, the template doesn't fit into this viewport. So I'm just going to quickly hack into, into this so I can see it uh, see better. Okay, so I have increased the width of the preview panel, so we can see how this email looks like um, in, in Shopify. Everything looks great, the design features are, are kept intact. And all I have to do now is just uh, send a test email and verify if everything is okay. So using the send test email feature from the top left, Should receive an email on my inbox shortly. Here it is. All right, the email looks great. So yeah, this is one of the designs that uh, has some um, design features that are not uh, easy to implement into um, either the default way of uh, editing. Shopify notification emails via typing the code or via the app that they show you. So yeah, again, so this was one of the examples that I wanted to show you. I have also um, found a couple of other examples uh, from different brands that have uh, similar features that are unable to reproduce uh, uh, directly into Shopify or, or the app. And let's have a look. So this example is from Adidas, and uh, you can see that it features logo on the left, a couple of uh, main navigation links, style finder with an icon. And then um, again, we, ha we have uh, uh, full width sections like the header, um, the hero section here, and we have a nice looking design element used uh, Separator. We have four columns in here and in here, and this is something that again, it's uh, you can't uh, do by yourself within the app or the Latin in Shopify. Uh, the next example that I have for you is from the uh, well-known brand uh, again, Doorship Club. This is an abandonment card email, um, a little bit different in terms of the content inside. It's not specifically Shopify template, but the idea of this example is to show you the design features. So we have um, we have again full width with um, 
uh, wooden pattern in, in, the, in the background that's, that's repeating uh, depending on how long the content in the box is. And uh, yeah, you, you cannot reproduce easily that feature. And the third one is from ASICS, the ring company. What we have in here is a little bit more complex header with a couple of uh, options that they offer. And uh, we have a background image for, for the product. We have the product image and some buttons. These are other items from the car, stuff like that. So these are, these are examples. These four examples are from emails that have um, really a little bit complicated design elements and they cannot be um, created um, easily within Shopify or through an app. And this is where uh, it comes down to having such template created from scratch specifically for you. If you find yourself in a similar position where uh, you need such templates, uh, Mail Bakery can help you with that. Just head over to our website, mailbakery.com, and get in touch with us. And we'll be more than happy to discuss uh, to discuss your project and help you out. Thanks a lot for having me in this video. If you have any questions, please post it down below this video. I'll be more than happy to.